rants on Star Wars. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Join the Road Squadron. Today, let's talk about something special, shall we? An article from Screen Rant, the first set photos from the John Favreau TV series have dropped or have leaked, depending on how you want to look at it. So let's get to the article and the photos, shall we? This article is from, from Cooper Hood of Screen Rant. First set photos for John Favreau's Star Wars TV series tease filming has started. Set photos. Set photos from John Favreau's live-action Star Wars TV series have arrived, with filming reportedly set to start next week. Lucasfilm is expanding the ways in which the fans of the galaxy far, far away can consume content. They've dominated the big screen as of late, uh, solo, continue to pump out animated series and release their usual output of novels and comics. But it'll be Iron Man director Favreau who gets to create the first ever live action TV series. Lucasfilm has confirmed, hasn't confirmed much about the series, but it'll debut on Disney streaming service next year. Favreau is producing and writing the series for Disney and Lucasfilm giving expected fall 2019 release. However, there's been hardly any information, only rumors that it was a focus on the Mandalorians. Lucasfilm and Favreau have quickly and quietly been gearing up from the start of production as making Star Wars has been told that cameras start rolling next week. This report comes along with the site sharing photos of sets being built for the series, which are designed by the Jungle Book production designers Doug Chang and Andrew L. Jones. Favreau can be seen in one of the close-up photos and the set being construction Maybe Tatooine. I find this very interesting. Based on building structures and sand-covered ground, although we've realized that there are two other sand planets, Jeddah and Jakku. And now let's take a look at the photos. And I'll very quickly leave. Um, we'll go through these pictures and just kind of look at them. It, it looks like uh, Tatooine. Um, I guess it could be something like Moss Eisley. Um, I this movie is set seven years after Return of the Jedi. I don't know. I it's supposed to be about the Mandalorians, and that sounds cool. But if it ended up being something else, like say centered around Moss Eisley, uh, criminal underworld, something like that, man. I particularly would love that. Um, that is that is sort of a part of Star Wars I just I just really like. Um, but I don't know the the Mandalorians would be really interesting as well. Um, these set photos look cool. I mean, John Favreau is actually in a couple of them, um, looking like he's on my diet plan, uh, which is going to be cheeseburgers and uh, French fries. Okay, so what do we think about this, Star Wars fans? Um, I find these photos pretty interesting. Uh, I know it doesn't tell us much about the story, and I get that. Um, before, I think this series has the potential to be epic in the current state of entertainment. And what I mean by that is, frankly, so many series are better than movies these days. Uh, I.e. Game of Thrones, um you know, Westworld, Ozark, wow, great show. Uh, Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, The Shield, all these shows that were sort of monumental. Now Star Wars dips its toe into that for the first time. And what I'm hoping for is 50 quality one-hour episodes. So essentially we have a 50-hour long movie. So anyway, if you like these, vi uh, these videos, you find these interesting, Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and until next time, peace, I'm out.